Hey everyone and welcome back to part 22 of our Kingdom Two Crowns playthrough. Last time we destroyed the first portal on the left hand side of the fifth island, so this time we're going to see if we can destroy any more portals or if we need to expand our defences first. We're going to start off by just having a little bit of an exploration on the left hand side here. Oh, maybe not, because it's night time by the scenes of things. So we just about survived, well we didn't just about survive, we survived the blood moon attack, the retaliation from the portal destroying, we didn't actually see any of it, but we uh, did see that this wall had taken some damage, so I guess that's something. Let's go have a check, see if we've got any people eating our bread, not quite yet. Pretty much just need arches at this point. And, you know, why not have an extra builder? I hope you can't hear the rain that's currently going a bit crazy outside in real life. Not in the kingdom world. If you can hear it, my bad. Not really a lot I can do about that. Okay. I wish this dog would stop barking, it's unnerving me a little bit. Please stop barking dog, you're making me think there's something big coming this way. It's not what I like to hear. Okay, so it's quite a way to the next portal. Not much further than the first one though, so I think we could probably risk it. Destroy that one and then do some expanding. Though I suppose we might as well chop down some trees while we're at it. I'm probably going to want to check the... Uh, right hand side because it's occurred to me maybe the dog was barking about some big attack going on over there in which case I should probably make sure that everything's still alive wow now it's stopped raining in real life and it started raining in the kingdom world You're not getting my bread. Okay. No sign of any big destruction of walls. Was this our furthest out point? Did we go a little bit further? Not yet. But we probably want to. Well, we don't really need to expand on the right hand side yet, we've got good enough defences. We can worry about that when it's only the right hand side. So for now, after reacquainting ourselves with the, uh, the lay of the land, it's been a little while since I recorded one so I sort of make a couple notes and have to wing the rest. Now that we know where we are, we can get down to business to defeat the Huns. Might as well upgrade this tower. Got a lot of coins. Suppose we should start giving some to the banker, but he's about to go and hide. Are oh, you greedy? So and so. Okay, so our main priority is to just do a bit of expanding. I suppose we can send out um, 
Ooh, nice of you to join us. We can stock up with some fire barrels and just send out our fellas to go and take down another portal. Right, now let's head to the other side and make sure there's fire barrels over there. Still looks like there's a few lying about, but it's good to add a few more to that pile, I guess. Especially seeing as we have the, uh, the coins to do it. More than enough coins. We'll chuck an upgrade on this tower again. And then, um, I guess we'll give a few coins to this fella. Sort of assuming that... Uh, oh no, stop eating the bread. Ah, it's too late. Um, yeah, I'm sort of assuming that those uh, samurai on the left-hand side, or ronin, have dealt with that portal, or will deal with that portal without much issue, but that might have been um, a bold assumption. So I might as well go and check on them. Grab a few extra coins. Also they will probably need some cover if they've not already dealt with Oh. I was going to say they'll probably need some cover if they've not dealt with a night attack already. So I might as well go and meet them. I mean, they're alive. He didn't even want to take any coins. Yeah, they uh, seem to have done fine. Lost track of the dog there for a second. Okay, I'm going to uh, leave these guys alone because you can never be sure if there's a crown stealer or not. Well, I mean, you can be sure. It should make a noise, but I've only got one headphone on, so... Oh, that's the sound of two blood waves or blood moon attacks I think they were originally just called or they are just called red moons but everyone thought blood moon sounded cooler so we just went with that hmm no barking on this side yet let's go check the other side I mean, he's looking left, that dog. Or she. No sign of any action here. Okay. I'm going to guess this side, yep. Looks like they've pretty much got things under control. A few breeders or whatnot, but daytime has hit, so everything is good. Oh, but that one is uh, not even on fire, that's a little bit of a concern. Okay, not a massive concern though. Well, 
that went better than expected, maybe. And now it's time to just spend some days chopping down trees. We'll probably want to expand out sort of quite a chunk. I don't think we're going to have to deal with any um, super troubling waves. So we can always just build wall, like a wall here and then expand out again. Uh, let's see if we can get to a point the other side of this forest and start clearing backwards so we can leave these camps. Not looking great for that. Okay, next portal is there, and then hopefully, yeah, final portal's right after that. So I'm tempted to just expand out as close to that first um, camp as possible, and then go from there. It means the warriors, or the um, team to destroy the portals are probably going to have to deal with night waves each time. That's not the end of the world. Or at least I certainly hope it's not. I think all my bread must have been eaten. The other thing is we don't really need that many um, people recruited anymore. There's still at least one camp on the right hand side. So we might be able to clear that first camp on the uh, left without having much of an issue. Oh, I definitely should have uh, saved these trees until tomorrow. But it is handy to get this cleared. Yeah, probably worth trying to get so many bloody coins. Probably worth trying to get at least one, well, uh, a pretty decent length out with a new wall on the left hand side tomorrow, just because it's quite a distance to clear any more trees. No, I'm giving you coins, you imbecile. I mean, that's a pretty decent spot to set up. And then we can start thinking about the next point after that. It's annoying that there's not much space between these two camps because if there was a bit more space it's easier to justify getting rid of one of them. So I think I might just try and risk making this one, uh, this wall here, my 
most advanced one and go from there. I could probably push to here, but then I wouldn't be able to clear any forests so the archers wouldn't have any um, hunting ground really. Yeah, I think I'll go with these. The night waves aren't too big, so I can just escort uh, the samurai on the way to the portals and use these lovely wings to blow away the competition. It will take some time to build up these defenses though, so I don't think we're going to be able to destroy another portal quite yet, but it's not far away. We'll leave that upgrade until the next day because it's getting late. At least these guys have got here on time. Weird position for these to show up. I hope they actually appear a little bit closer to the wall. I was going to say, ah, oh, come on, couldn't finish that last bit, but no, they couldn't be greed, were literally here. So, fair enough builders, you did your job. guy gave me a little bit of a heart attack, thought it was a very slow moving greed. There's another one. Annoyingly they don't really have the brains to prioritise you just go for those trees rather than those walls, which might be a little bit handier. More money than cents, again. Don't have a lot of sense, so it doesn't take much. Oh, I should stop doing that. It's really stupid. <laughs> Keep taking the builders away from important things. Let's go pay a visit to our favourite banker. pick those coins up. Not much to do other than upgrade things at the moment. Back to that fun cycle until we're slightly more built up on the left hand side. That should keep him quiet for a while. And we're already full again. He still haven't relocated, which is a little annoying. 
Not the end of the world, though. Uh, it's almost night time, so won't bother upgrading anything else. Oh, just so many coins. Another quiet rainy night on the fifth island. Be cool if they had names. I mean, I'm gonna look at the map, but I'm not expecting there to be anything on them. Nope. That's cool. It's got like a um, on the right hand side how long the monarch reigned for and what got them. I assume on the right that's the symbol for a uh, portal explosion. Yes, yes, all these coins. That's... Mm, no, don't need to get any fire barrels just yet. extra space there, but I just have a compulsion to clear these trees. be interesting if you could upgrade your samurai so they had a horse or something like that. Don't know how efficient that would be, they certainly wouldn't be as good at defending the front. Just be a guy on a horse. being able to go and destroy some more portals, which is nice. That'll be the uh, start of the next part, I guess. But we're at roughly 20 minutes here, a little bit over. So that's where we're going to end it for this time. If you're looking for more tips and guides, then check out some of my other videos. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.